Looks here. Um, again, going through the what flip Twitter feed. Just going to be giving some of my reactions to stuff. It's a, it's a really good day today, so I'm feeling pretty good. Um, straight off the bat, I just turned on my Twitter and I see this, you know, name a character that could be Goku. <laughs> these these fights always they so they don't really make sense a lot of the time it's goku versus superman um it's goku versus satama satama versus superman um and stuff like that it's it for one satama's essentially going to win anyone because it's just a mary sue character meaning that it's a character kind of like batman where whatever the situation he'll end up with um goku versus superman I would say Goku wins because Superman, although maybe have a stronger ability to say lift like a mountain or something than Goku, I think Goku's probably got harder punches. Um, and not to mention the fact that Goku actually is a trained fighter and has spent like decades just practicing martial arts and stuff. And you know, Clark's a farmer <laughs> essentially. Um, so Goku wins that one. I just want to clear that up. And when it comes to Dr. Manhattan and all these reality warp people, it's, it's an unfair fight. They're always going to win. Um, so that's just the way it is. I know they fought in the comics, Dr. Manhattan and Superman. Which is stupid. Um, probably won't play the audio here. Actually, no, let's just play it. Okay, um, a woman is a biological female, which by their nature would have a uterus. A man is a biological male, and by their nature they do not have uteruses. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, there is a there is a delusion I think going on, and I think you know people being trans it's, it's fine, it doesn't hurt anyone. People who are, want to identify as different genders and stuff, um, I, I I understand that there is a emotional feeling towards it um, for them going through that situation, um, but they can't expect, I think in the world right now, we have a lot of people that expect everything to cater to them. I'm not seven, eight foot tall with amazing basketball skills, right? But I may have wanted to always become a basketball player and feel like I should have been the basketball player. But I'm not, and I just accept it, and I actually am grateful for who I am and what I am. Um, and I think some of the mentality for, for a lot of these people that you're seeing on TikTok is like I want to be what I want to be no one can tell me otherwise I'm going to buck the system I don't care about the laws I don't care about anyone else's feelings my feelings are paramount um, and that's fine for them to say because of freedom of speech but when you're fighting against certain factual scientific factual things like humans have two eyes you know humans have four eyes whatever like it, it I don't know how to even combat that. It, it's it's an insanity for my part. Um, I don't think men or women who identify as men should be using male bathrooms um, and vice versa. I wouldn't feel comfortable with my children if I had daughters, them getting changed in a locker room and then a trans woman comes in um, with a big cock. It's not something that I really want to <laughs> to have happen but I think that's a video for another you know, other kind of point oh god like there's a lot of like um, things on Twitter where it's just like you know what's the best anime fight scene what's the best you know emotional anim you know, anime character or who's the got the most swagger as an anime like all these little kind of things 
And when you're reading them, people are getting into proper arguments about it. And then that's when I realized, oh wait, this is a first world problem. <laughs> this is truly first world problem. MCU is dead after Endgame. Kind of is. Um, I, I was a massive MCU fan. Like Endgame is like one of my top movies. All time. Like the emotions that I had watching Endgame and Infinity War was off the roof. It was the first time I screamed in a cinema, stood up, was in Infinity War. When Thor came back to Wakanda, that entrance, I generally jumped up and I screamed. I've never done that. I'm pretty quite silent and thought stuff in the cinema. And in the end game, um, my heart was just going the whole movie. It was like, it was crazy. That was like my peak. I don't, I, I don't even think I'm ever going to get back to that peak cinema culture where it was just so amazing like that. Um, but ever since then, obviously we had COVID and we had all these things and it kind of dampened Marvel a lot. Um, I think after Endgame, they tried to continue what was going on rather than starting fresh. Not necessarily reboot the whole thing, but the continuation after Endgame had a lot of issues. You, you got rid of Iron Man and Cap, which are the heart and the and the, the the heart and soul of the MCU are those two characters. And now you're trying to like who's leading the Avengers? We haven't heard anything about the Avengers. It's just a cinematic M Marvel world now. Characters doing different things, and there hasn't been that many good. Um, there hasn't been that many good films. You know, I like I, li I like Spider Man. Shang Chi was awesome. Um, I, I was a fan of Loki and Hawkeye. For some reason, it ages better. The more I think about it, the more I, I like it. But it wasn't that great. She Hulk and Miss Marvel had issues. Um, I would say. Um, Black Panther 2 wasn't that great. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's sad. I, I generally feel like, I'm, and I'm, take it from me, we will be seeing um, Chris Evans back as Captain America and we will see Robert back as Tony Stark. Um, to some capacity, in some way, we will be seeing it um, because why wouldn't they have an extra few billion dollars in the bank from a film? Imagine seeing a trailer and you see Cap America, like the real Captain America. We see a trailer and see Iron Man again. What's well, automatic a billion just on that character alone? So it's like, do they want money or not, essentially? And they'll throw money at the actors. So. The wing takes the kite up and away with a woman attached. Wow. That's scary. Um. What can she do? What could you do in that situation but just hang on? How light is she? Or how windy is it? Hold on. I think I've seen this before. I thought it was a child. Why isn't the person that's holding the kite bringing the kite down? They're just flying the kite with <laughs> the like that guy down there, like he's holding the kite. Can't you just bring it down slowly? And then people would just, I don't know. Oh, I've seen this. This is a fight. You, I like seeing these things just to see like how the aggressors versus the God one time, one time hit. Kids these days, sorry guys. Um, I know there's a lot of you guys probably watching, but in my day, I'm 35. So I'm probably a bit older than you guys thought, but in my day, uh, we didn't act like this in front of adults. I mean, yeah, those naughty and were bad and doing certain things, and you know, people my age were got up to no good. But the level of disrespect I see in today's society, and this is based on my on online viewings of videos like that, and this is mainly stuff that's happened in America. Although this is in, in the UK, um, yeah, it wasn't like this. You don't see things like this in, in my day, especially in schools. Like we weren't teachers telling us what to do and stuff, and we did it. And also, I think people are just too privileged, too entitled. I think children, young teens, they have too much power. You know, they go on social media, they go on TikTok, they get a bunch of followers, and they start to think that they're invincible, that they're famous, that they're, you know, messiah complexes and all sorts. And it's just like. Nah, nah. But back in my day, we didn't have all of that, so we kind of knew our place a bit better. 
think that's kind of like the, the gist of the gist of these things. Post the same actor in two roles that show their range. Oh. Warney Reaver. To show their range. Well, definitely not Samuel Jackson, because he's the same character and everything. Um, show their range. Who's, who's a good actor that has been in different things to show different range? I guess... Yeah. I don't know. I'll come back to that one. Denzel's one of my favourite actors. PSV2, everything... Need everything in first person. Okay. I don't like first person. Um, and I'm going to go on a bit of a rant here. I'm a third third person type of gamer. And the reason why I don't like first person games is because I feel like the way the controls are, there's one. I mean, there's many reasons, but I'm going to kind of break it down. The controls in the first person means that when you want to look to the left and you move the analog stick to the left, there's a there's a jarringness to it because it's essentially it's tunnel vision. You've got these two you know, widths of your screen, the viewing angle, and it's moving across like that. When real life, there's a peripheral vision that kind of wraps around you, right? Right to the sides. Even though you're not looking at the side, I can see my hand in my peripheral vision right here, which you probably can't see this off camera. It's waving this hand here. But in a game, I wouldn't see that. And so you're kind of restricting your view just in nature by having first person. Unless it's in VR, then I think it's, it's different. Um, second thing is because of that restriction when you're a lot of first person games are fast paced games you have like online multi shooters, uh, multiplayer shooters and stuff like that because of that it's the fast pace and the restriction of you um, it's disorientating for me it's like I can't see I'm getting shot by side and you see like the side of the screen go like a little red like a red filter tint on the one side and you're like okay so I'm assuming from that side in real life you would be able to see and hear and stuff like that and and when people are running across the screen it's just like and it's just chaos and it's just it's just nauseating to, to have that some people like it you know, but, but, but nauseating um, third thing is movement it's so it's not quick I understand people say like well if you want to do good in a first person shooter you use mouse and keyboard they don't have mouse and keyboard. I find it horrible. Um, yeah, accuracy is going to be better with a mouse, but I just like a controller. You know? um, so that's my preference. That's my bad. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, I don't think that... It's, it's going to sound very strange, but I don't think first-person games are evolved enough to the state where it is a... Let me compare it to how VR was like 10 years ago. It wasn't at the state where we could have proper games and actually utilize it. And I feel like first person game hasn't really reached the level or the bar that I feel like the first person experience should be. VR, I think we've definitely raised the bar and you can have more of an immersive understanding and, and perspective and Im immersion within the, the environment. But just with a first person controller, um, like scheme and everything, I, I'm rambling now, but it's, yeah, I don't think, I don't think it's good. Um, third person all the way, I like to see my character, I like to see how cool my character looks, customise my character and all that. But well, Cyberpunk, when it came out, you know, you're creating a character for like <laughs> days. And then you play the game, it's like, well, I don't even see my character. It's just boring. It, it's not good. So, third person all the way. Uh, I've got very, very uh, <clears throat> strict kind of parameters for games that I, I accept and don't accept. I, I just don't buy first person experience games anymore. Let me know if you guys would do check out uh, PlayStation VR. It's meant to be the best. I haven't played it. I've got the Quest and stuff, and, which is good. I like it. But um, yeah, you can't watch one of these and hate the rest. They're all 10, 10 series. Well, you know, three of them are good series that I enjoy. Dragon Ball, Bleach, Naruto. Bleach for me is still underrated. Although people class it as one of the, the big three. Um, um, one Piece. It's going to leave it there. Just going to leave it there. Silent Hill. Silent Hill, I haven't played it. I haven't played Silent Hill. Um, horror games or kind of like tense games. The last proper one I played was way back in the day when I played Dead Space on my 360. I think it was my 360. 
and yeah, I had an Xbox, quite strange. And then the, I, I completed the game, but I remember the whole time I was so tense and I just like, my hands are sweating. I'm like crunched up and I'm playing like this. And it's just like, after that experience, I was like, I, I can't go through that again. So you're probably thinking, what games do does Alex play? What games do I actually play? Um, so I like RPGs, adventure games, like Uncharted, Tomb Raiders, I um, love all of that. I like um, JRPGs, Final Fantasy games, like some of my favorite games like Shenmue and stuff like that. So I, I do play loads of games. I, I like action games like Spider-Man, God of War, and like all of that as well. Kind of classed is um, class from bloody Scotland. Class them. I class them as um, action RPGs. So those are, those are kind of like my jams. Um, again, all in third person. Um, Try to start by some post screams at well for misgendering. Why are you going to scream at someone for misgendering me? So many people assume that I'm black. Do I have the right to just? I, mean, I have the right to scream at them, but should I scream at them? Because I'm not. I'm mixed. Even my friends like they take make jokes. If you see in a podcast, like they just assume, not assume, but they just talk as if I am black, and I'm just like, well, no, I'm, I'm half black, half white. This is, what I'm, this is exactly what I mean. They're entitled and they're privileged, and they think that they are above. Uh, not all of them, obviously, but the, these minorities that I'm seeing online, they just think that they're above everyone, and that they're entitled to some special treatment that none of us get. If I said to someone, "My pronouns are the greatest man on earth," no one's going to say that. So, your freedom to express yourself is respected just as much as my freedom is to address someone the way I want to address them. Don't try to enforce your policies and your opinions and try to control the way I speak. Because then it's not freedom, is it? Um, seen this video, girl, this is basically a, a teacher takes her phone and then she decides to pepper spray the teacher. You can see him going down there. And again, if this happened in my school, that kid would have just been thrown out of the school got home, beaten, beaten by her parents. Yeah, it was good good days back then. Did everyone just forget that Black Panther 2 came out five months ago, was a box office hit, and then won an Oscar? <clears throat> I haven't seen Guardians yet, I will do. Pokemon fans, who are you choosing? I always just choose the one that looks the coolest, which is Charmander. Um, nothing much more to say on that. Redfall, massive mistake. Oh, there's no gun in the hand. Yeah, you, you know, these glitches and, and things are coming. I, I saw someone try to compare it with Horizon Forbidden West when it first launched. Because Horizon Forbidden West at first launch, it had a few little like, technical glitches and stuff. But it was nothing. Like, when I played it from day one, I didn't even experience any issues. Um, people were trying to say, oh, look, people were bashing Redfall, but they didn't bash Horizon. I'm like, well... No, because Horizon was nowhere near in the state Redfall is. Like, what's, what are these people actually talking about? It's, it's rid absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah, this game just looks terrible. And it's sad. I wanted it to be good. Um, not because I'm going to play it and I like it because it's first person, but because a good game is a good game and gamers can enjoy it. And that's really what it's about, isn't it? None of this console war bullshit. Although PlayStation 5 is, is the best. None of the, none of the console war bullshit. What was that? I saw some stupidness. I haven't told him I'm trans. Nervous what if he doesn't accept me. Well, he's going to find out when he sees your dick. There. And then he will probably punch you in the face. I mean, that's just how I... That's how I see it. You're lying to someone about who you are. It's like me going on a date with someone, not telling them that I'm a serial um, serial killer or something, or I've got HIV or something crazy like that, and then telling them. I mean, I don't want to compare being trans to that, but it's, it's a key part of your identity, right? It's a key part, like maybe that was a bad comparison on my part. Uh, which game do you want a remake the most? Ooh. Driver was pretty good. Metal Gear Solid is, ob is the obvious one. 
Dino Crisis gets so much love, and I never, I never played Dino Crisis. Um, I wish I did. Driver was awesome, though. I love Driver. I even bought a uh, driving uh, steering wheel and stuff on my original PlayStation, and I had that. Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. I haven't, um, I haven't played that either. But I know it's got its fans. You know what the remake? Are? You know what game was really cool? I think it was PlayStation Two. I think it was one of the launch games. It was called The Bouncer, and it was so cool. It was so good. I think it was done by Square, and it was kind of like a third-person platforming fighter, um, and you kind of go around. It was co-op, just fighting people and stuff, and it was so good. It's like Streets of Rage, but more 3D environment and stuff. It was so good, and I've always wanted a remake of that. Another game I want a remake of is Golden Sun on the Game Boy. That RPG was amazing. It came like I didn't. I remember playing it. I was emulating it on my PC, like decades ago and like I didn't know anything about the game and I was like I was like, oh, let me just try it out and I just like fell in love with the game completely I never played number two but um that's a game that I would like to have a remake a proper remake like Far Fantasy remake with some 3D really nice graphics and everything um other remakes that I think or games that I think be well well done um it sounds weird but again I mentioned this game before is Shemu. I think the original Shemu, that storyline, I think if they can expand on the storyline, um, give it a bit more of a, a deeper meaning. I think the thing with the remake is that the, the Final Fantasy VII remake was such a good thing because I never played the original game. So the story was fresh to me. But from the people that I know that did play the game, they said, you know, the story's different, this, the ending's different, these characters are being introduced at different times, slightly different side stories. I think that's the perfect way to go for a remake. Make it fresh enough to have new ideas and new content um, and I think if they did that with Metal Gear if they did it with like Shemu or something where the story the base of the story is the same but there's different elements to it slight differences um, it's retold in a way that makes for better narrative sense now it's been so many years since the game came out um, maybe add more areas to the to the city add more features and functions and things like that like that's my dream so that all show me for that's, those those are my dreams uh it's a lot of trans stuff this guy males in disguise yeah it's a lot a lot going on there um do, do my neighbors threw out two bags full of xbox and wow baby games oh wow that's a lot of stuff just to throw out take it then if you want it sell it um don't drink beer, can you solve this? Oh, it's too early for that stuff. Might have to reach then. Yeah. Vision 23, first party, Call of the Mountain, Horizon version of Spider-Man 2, Last of Us 2, Actions 2, third party. So out of these games, I'm looking forward to Spider-Man 2, Final Fantasy 16, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, although that's not 2023, it's going to come out 2024, 100%. Baldur's Gate might be cool. Um, Silent, 2, Silent Hill 2 remake, uh, I don't know, I guess I'll, I'll play it. The Spoken I still haven't played yet, I want to play it. Tip, what's this? This rate me out of, oh this is these stupid TikToks. This is what I mean, it's like these people just looking for attention. What's a narcissistic? It's like, and it's breeding narcissistic teenagers and I, I, I've got two sons. My oldest is two and a half, it's gonna be three in September. I just really hope that, um, all of this movement is over by the time he goes to school because uh, I'm trying to teach him the values of masculinity and accountability and responsibility um, as early as I can. Um, I'm trying to keep teaching like traditional values in the house and that's just my personal thing. Um, I'm not religious but I, I do believe that men thrive in their masculinity and women thrive in their femininity. Together they are a single unit that um, can help develop the most balanced and healthy offspring, children. Um, and I think all of this nonsense is just absolute stupidity. But you can slay top there. She just told the police that we're hiding on live TV. America is this crazy. Oh, all right, well, I think I'll... Oh, there's a Superman thing here. I'll finish up after this. The thing about being Superman is 
You'd be privy to sights and sounds that are none of your business, so he has to be a good and moral person, period. If you ever want to see that, if you want to see what the flip, what the flip of that looks like, read his misery, I was Ultraman. I thought he was talking about me for a sec. Yeah, I mean, Superman's the greatest su superhero of all times, grand granddad of, of superheroes, first cape wearer, that took to the skies, leapt tall buildings in a single bound. He's uh he's the biggest he although being an alien he's he's the most he has the most humanity in him. And I think all humans could look up to him um as inspiration of who they should be. If the whole world was like Clark Kent, the whole world was like Superman, there wouldn't be wars. Um that's how I see it. Yeah doesn't mean it will be a better world but it will definitely be a more peaceful world uh, yeah that's pretty cool anyway guys um, that's me for today if there's any other videos and stuff you want to do any reactions or any topics that you want me to cover just on the YouTube I will um, I like talking about kind of in-depth things getting more in-depth and going on rants and stuff happy to do that um, check out the podcast obviously whattheflippodcast.com it's the website it's got all of us that's got all my videos from YouTube on there the episodes of the podcast that we do which is the main thing um you have a lot of fun there I, you know, trust me uh, we have news and updates on the on the brand and, and what we do um and yeah so uh thanks for the sub subscribers you know I've, I've started doing a youtube thing properly for about a month maybe five or six weeks and um our viewership has been pretty good it's escalated and things are really starting to tick off so i just want to say that i appreciate all the people that are listening in um, who've made it this far in my videos i really appreciate it of the subscribers and the people that are hitting those like buttons so thanks again guys and uh